Welcome back. And now at 11, thousands of visitors are in South Florida tonight for the start of Art Basel, and thousands more are expected as the week goes on. Good for the economy, bad for traffic. CBS 4's David Sutter live tonight in downtown Miami with some advice on getting around and a little sneak peek of some art as well, David. Oh, yeah, there was a lot of great stuff to look at. We're actually at Art Miami. It is closed down for the night, but I can tell you people were here an hour and a half early before the opening. Valet sold out, and traffic was a mess in this part of, the, of town. Tonight we have some guidelines for you, some advice on how you can navigate all this this week. Some art is shiny, some art is huge, and some art, wait a second, is that real? Normally when, normally when I'm drunk, and, and that's when my creative juices really start to flow. Yes, a real wolf in a bar in Montana. I think you've got to show creative courage these days, because the threshold of what captures people's imagination gets higher and higher, because we're all so content spoiled. So we really need to push limits. David Yarrow, one of thousands of artists whose works are spread across Miami and the beaches at some 20-plus art fairs this week. If you're not here, you're not here. You're going to miss it. So you, you got to be here, really. It, truly, this is, the I think, the biggest international fair in this continent. The biggest and maybe the busiest. Up to 100,000 people are arriving in South Florida. Traffic already at a standstill around the fairs. At Art Miami, Valet actually sold out. You can't get out of here. They don't know where your keys are. And then they lost everyone's car. Inside, good event. Okay. Valet, bad event. Sorry. They eventually worked it out. For those looking to see art, your best move may be to leave that car behind. Miami Beach is offering trolleys. There's even a water taxi to take you to and from the beach. Public transit is operating at increased levels. You can use Uber and Lyft, but be prepared to walk. They have designated pickup and drop off areas. And you may pay more for that ride with surge pricing. He doesn't even want to come close to this place. He wants us to go over a couple blocks. With this much traffic, Don Harris didn't even care how much it costs. <laughs> Uber is always reasonable. They're a great deal. And so Art Week goes through Sunday, Monday. Maybe we'll see some normalcy. And Rick Rudabay, if you're interested in that wolf photo, $35,000. That's all. All right. Well, I actually like that wolf photo a lot, David. Like so I'll be borrowing some money from you, maybe. Okay. Thank, thank you, David. Not me. I don't have any Bitcoin. <laughs> the Miami 